So we have, that's the project. Let's understand and read that project, okay? So here, what the project is telling me. The first task of the project is that activity one. It has a duration of one day. Once I finish activity one, I can start activity two and four. So activity one is a predecessor of two and four. And then activity three can start once, uh, once I finish activity two. Activity five can start once I finish activity four. The same thing for the same thing. The activity six can start when I finish activity five. To start activity seven, I have to finish activity three and six. Once I finish both, I can I can start activity seven, and then I can complete the project. Is that okay? Each 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 side of my network, each side of my network, I'm, I'm just put. I have two paths. Two paths, <coughs> two paths, okay? One green and another one blue. Can you see the blue and the green? So we have two paths. One question for you. What's the duration of the project? 144, yes, 144. So the blue path ha takes 144 days. In the green path, 1 plus 24, 25, plus 6, 85, plus 15, 100 days. Okay, 100 days. The green, 100 days, and the blue, 144. So the project duration, so let's suppose I start the green, I can finish here. I arrive here at that spot here exactly in 100 days. Can I start activity seven? No, I have to wait until I finish all the activities in the blue path to complete it, to start activity seven. So they can finish here first, doesn't matter. I have to wait until we finish activity six to start uh, activity seven. So the longest part in the path in the network, we call that critical path, critical path, the longest. It's, and why we call that critical path? Let's do some kind of, uh, uh, anal analyze some scenarios here. Let's suppose that that in activity two, for some reason, for some reason that we don't know, uh, it was delayed and, and that activity take 35 days. Okay, 35 days. We plan that activity to with a duration 24 days, but during the execution, there is something that goes on and it takes at the end 35 days. What's happening with the project? Oh, yes, no change on the project finish date. Although we, we are here, and the guy here, his name is John. Let's put a small cap. And I saw the, John, you are late, 11 days. But that's okay, that's okay. We can fix, okay? Don't you worry, we can fix that, John. But on the blue side, we have a guy here that is Mike, okay? And Mike, Mike is working with a hammer, okay? And that's, I have to be careful because Mike is using a hammer. And Mike, instead of taking 30 days, Mike takes 31 days, delays one days. What are the consequences for that? What's the consequence? So the, the, the project get delayed by one day now. So he delays the project there, and so I have to explain the case. So I come as a project manager, I go to Mike, come on, Mike. What's happened to you? You boy, you delay one day. And so they say, Americo, it's just one day, the other guy upstairs. He delayed 11 days. You said that would be okay for me because just because of one day you are. And that is the problem. You know the problem, Mike? 
you are in the critical path. And there is no excuse if you are in the critical path. And that is a situation that we have here. So critical path, you don't have room for delays. Everything should be planned and executed on time. And that's why we call that a critical path. It's the longest, and because it's the longest, it determines the project duration. And the other, sometimes you, you still have room here to start late or to take more time, but in the critical path, you have to start on the date and execute within the duration that was established in the plan. Okay?